Hi, this is Watt Mossberg from Recode, and if it's October, it must be time for a new iPad. And Apple has obliged this October with two new models. One is a new version of the iPad mini, the smaller one. It's hardly anything new and different about that. So I focused on this. This is the iPad Air 2. The iPad Air name was introduced last year when they really dramatically shrunk the thickness and the weight of the previous iPad so that the iPad was one pound and fairly thin. That made it a lot more comfortable and yet they managed to keep the retina display at the same size and keep the battery life. In fact, it even uh, had better battery life than the prior models. This year we have the iPad Air 2. It's slightly thinner and slightly lighter but in my view, it's not different enough to justify anyone who owned last year's model upgrading to this one. That's not to say there are no differences. It has, as they do every year, it has a, a new and somewhat improved processor and graphics chip. This one has the Touch ID fingerprint sensor that has been on the iPhone so that you can unlock the device with just a, a fingerprint and also use certain aspects of Apple's new Apple Pay system. And there are a number of other new things in here, but it's just, in my opinion, not a big enough improvement to upgrade from last year's model. However, if you have an older iPad, let's say a 2012 or before one, which is considerably thicker and heavier than this and also not as fast and, and not as fluid, then I think the decision is different. You may well want to upgrade to this. It's the same price as the iPads have been since the beginning. It starts at $499. Or, if you want to save money, you could get the original iPad Air from last year, which as I say, isn't all that much bigger or different. And that's $399 to start, so you can save yourself $100. This is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.